We're at CVS. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have my very favorite guest here yet again. He went and bought makeup, but this time, Drugstore. Yes, yes, and I'm sure you got really good deals, right? Not really. What? I tried. Are you kidding me? I was more focused on getting good makeup. I'm like the queen of getting good deals. I got. How did you not do that? I got uh, like twenty dollars of extra care bucks. Oh, okay. And spent three hundred. <laughs> All right, so you guys, the last time that James bought my makeup, it was a lot of fun. Um, I went to Disneyland with kind of crazy makeup, and today I'm going to lunch with other YouTubers. So you better have done like a good job. Hey, no peeking. Let's uh, start with the obvious. I got you some Ardell One Tens <laughs> and some lash okay. glue. Okay, good choice. Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1. And I got three shades. Wow, all right. Because I didn't know. I like you, the sometimes, foundation. Sometimes you like to mix them. Maybelline Age Rewind. Oh, you got the right one. And I got it in. Because you freaking cheated. I didn't James. cheat. He cheated. He was digging through my drawer. I looked I in her drawer. Like, I had to look in Please. her drawer to find out don't which look. shade. Uh, I got a Milani primer. I don't know if this is I good. I like that one. You like good. Yeah. Uh, I also got the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. What's I love that the theme continues at the drugstore with James buying multiple primers. Okay, so I got a Wet n Wild Contouring uh, Duo. Like it. I got Maybelline Shine Free Oil Control Loose Powder. Okay. Um, because they didn't have Cody. Okay. I got a Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. I don't know if you like this or not. But we'll play with it anyway. Okay, so I got your bronzers. I got the ones mm -hmm. that you that smell good. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the physician's formula. All right, Tati loves these because they smell like vacation. And I didn't know which one you wanted, so I got you two shades. Okay. And what I think that you should do since I went nuts is you should use what you're going to use and what you don't use, I'll return. Oh, oh. That way okay. I wouldn't have spent too much. Okay. I used the same thing with Physician's Formula for the blush. I also got you a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour. Okay. And I got you Physician's Formula Mascara. Yes, you know that I love that one. You've seen me buy that in Madness Monday so many times. I got two different eyeliners. I got uh, both of them from L'Oreal. One's the Matte Matic, and another is the Seal Kissimmee. Mm-hmm. And... I got a Wet n Wild mattifying powder. Mm -hmm. I got a Maybelline Master Strobing Illuminating Highlighter. Master, 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 master. Now with the eyeshadows, too many choices. Yes, you did. I got six eyeshadows. I got Wonder Brow. Mm -hmm. They sell that at CVS. Yes, love it. I got your favorite of all time 503C from Wet n Wild for lipstick. That's not the right one. <laughs> That's adorable that you're like 503C, your favorite. Uh, and anyway, I also got a liquid matte from Wet n Wild. I thought okay. that would be a good matte backup. Awesome. And I got you a lip liner from- I like that one. L'Oreal, it's the color Riche. Okay. And then I got a Ooh, NYX. This stuff burns. But yeah. I'm gonna use it, it's okay. It's the only uh, fixing spray I could find. Okay. So. You did a really good job. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna put all of this on my face and then you can come back and inspect your hard work. Okay, sounds right? good. Okay. Have fun. Thank you. Bye. Let's just take a moment. I need to get rid of the highlight on my face. I was opening PR packages and this is the collaboration between Manny MUA and Jeffree Star. It is a super blingy highlight but it's gotta go by because it's not at the drugstore. For now, we're gonna go in with a little bit of primer. I'm gonna take the Prime Light Face Primer from Milani. I know I really like this one. It's oil-free, pore minimizing, but hydrating at the same time. So for my combination skin, I do really like this. Just gonna take a pea-sized amount on my fingertips and put this on pretty much like a moisturizer. It's not a primer that you need to press into the skin so much, you just kind of Put it on like you would a moisturizer. It really leaves a nice glow, but it doesn't, in my opinion, exaggerate your pores, which I really like. 
Let's find a match with my Milani Conceal and Perfect. The last time I used this stuff, I felt like I was crazy yellow. I think the shade Natural 2 is best for me. Shade 1 is just a little bit too yellow, but this one might be too dark for me, so I hope this works out. All right, on to something I absolutely know I love so much. This is the Neutralizer from Maybelline, and I was actually almost out of mine, so this is really good timing. Oh, there's nothing like a fresh tube of this stuff. It is so good. I'm gonna take some of this Master Strobing Liquid. This is the shade Light. I do really enjoy this one and I'm just gonna pop it on with my Beauty Blender as well. I'm just gonna grab a little bit on the tip of my Beauty Blender, make sure I pat off some of the excess, and then just really go in right on the high points. But I'm dabbing very uh, lightly. I don't wanna move my foundation around. Let's set everything with a little bit of powder that I have never used before. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was weird. This is the Shine Free Loose Powder from Maybelline, and I am going to put this on with a fluffy brush from It Cosmetics, patting it on lightly, trying to avoid where I just laid down the cream highlight, but I wanna set everything else. Now we are going to contour the face a little bit and further brighten up the under eye. I am gonna take the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. This is in Dolce de Leche 749A. I like this guy a lot. It feels like a dupe for a contour and highlight powder from Marc Jacobs. The powder itself is really soft and really nice. If I can get in here. I'm gonna take a contour brush from MAC. This is the 141S. I really like it. See, that's pretty good. It blends out pretty nicely. So far, we're doing really well. I'm really impressed. Okay, now we are going to take the lighter shade. I'm actually just gonna take a crease brush, dip it into that banana kind of yellow shade, and just kind of brighten up under the eye and further set that concealer. And while we're here, let's go ahead and crack into the blush. This one actually, I don't like that much, but I'm going to obviously use it anyway because it's part of this challenge. But I just don't think the pigment shows up very much. Like it's just very sheer and highlighty, and I wish it had more of a pink tone to it. So I'm going to take this brush from Gorgeous Cosmetics. This is a 024. Pick it up and pray to God that we can get some kind of pink pigmentation out of this because it just wants to stay straight shimmery. Did I even do anything? I don't think so. I'm gonna take some of the pink out of the actual highlight palette from Wet n Wild and just, come on, blush my cheeks, something. We're gonna crack into the bronzer. I'm gonna kind of bring that all over the face for warmth because the blush situation is not working out. So I have two shades here. I have the light and then the bronzer. We're going in with just the straight bronzer because I need some color to my skin. We're gonna put on some Wonder Brow. This is the most budge-proof brow product on planet Earth. I use this stuff all the time, and I don't like applying it directly from the tube. You can do that if you have actual eyebrows, which I feel like I don't. Um, I really have to work to like build my brows to be to a place that I am really comfortable with. I'm gonna take an angled brush from Urban Decay. This is the E215. Grab the product off of a palette and then just go in like you would a brow pomade and just kind of use fine strokes to really fill in the brow. Not bad, without any other product, that is just the one product. And the nice thing about this stuff is, literally it's not going anywhere. I went and got a massage, I sat in a steam room before getting a massage, and every other part of my face like melted off and the brows didn't. I was like testing a bunch of waterproof makeup because I'm crazy like that. And it's actually not a total pain to take off either. Like a lot of products that are that budge proof are really crap to take off. I have a few of the 24-hour wear infallible eyeshadows. These are some of my very, very favorites from the drugstore. I'm gonna go in to the 24-hour infallible eyeshadow in bronzed taupe. I'm just gonna take my fingertip and try to deliberately flick you all off. I'm just kidding. Why do I always use my middle finger? I don't really know. Look at that. 
holy crap, right? I have not used this shadow in such a long time. It's so good though. Oh my gosh, if you want a good shadow from the drugstore that competes with high end, this is it. I don't have anything to really blend into the crease as far as a matte shadow, so I'm just gonna take the contour side of the Wet n Wild Contour Duo and just kind of run that through the crease just to work out any choppy edges. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Amber Rush, same thing, just taking my finger, gonna start in the center and just add a little bit of a rosy gold kind of a feel. And I am gonna take that on the lower lash line I'm gonna take a clover brush. I don't know what brush this is, but I'm taking Amber Rush and I am going to kind of just swipe it on the lower lash line. And for kicks, I'm gonna go into Iced Latte right here, same brush, and I'm just gonna kind of pop this right on the inner corner. I'm also gonna take that underneath the highest point of my brow bone, just right there. Wow, that is strong, strong. Okay, I'm gonna blend that out just a little. I don't have a strong highlighter in front of me, so I'm actually going to take Iced Latte on this very weird brush from Surat because it has kind of a dome tip. I'm just going to glide this right on the very, very top, not going wide, just like right here, just to add a little more highlight. Because this is a very glowy look that we have you know, ended up with. I think I'm gonna leave the eyes like this. I'm gonna use a little bit of liner in the waterline on the upper and lower and then keep the lid completely bare. So which one of these should I use? I am gonna go with the Silk Kiss Me because that has long been a favorite formula of mine. It's very budge proof. That kind of just made my eyes look really small, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna roll with it. False lashes. I don't know that I like that. What did I just do? Gosh dang it. Uh, false lashes can fix some of that. I'm gonna, s <gasps> why? Why do I do stuff like that? It ruins my whole look. We're gonna now apply mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes and go in with a healthy amount of the Organic Wear Mascara from Physician's Formula. I wonder how many times I've said that mascara name on my channel. I've like at least a hundred times. I've said this a million times, but the trick with this mascara is to wait for it to dry a little bit and then go in with a second coat. It really builds when it's dry. Oh, wow, that's pink. This one's a little patchy. I mean, I really like these liquid lipsticks from Wet n Wild, but this one is a little bit patchy. This is pink really hard. I had to use a couple of layers and I think I've got it pretty good on here, but uh, the darker shades definitely are the winners as far as that formula goes. All right, so let's pop on some lashes. I have a duo adhesive and some Ardell 110s. Like these were like my gateway drug into the world of false lashes. They're easy to apply, they look pretty natural. You don't feel crazy wearing them if you're kind of afraid to wear lashes at first. This is a great style. All right, so now all I have to do is set my face. This is not my favorite setting spray, but I'm gonna be a good sport about it and try it again. This is the NYX Matte Finish. Ugh, that sprayer, seriously. Okay, it's time to call the husband to see if he likes the finished look. Hey, sweetheart, are you ready for me? Yep. Come on okay. out. Hi. Hey, baby. What do you think? I think you look really pretty. Thank you. Do you love the lipstick? It's so pink. Um, I thought it was really pink, but I'm like, this is her favorite. Mm-hmm. Oh, not that. Is that the one you wore? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see, they had another color that I wanted, but they were sold out. So that was like actually... Oh, so this was the like, alternate. No, that was like third choice. Oh, okay. Uh, they did have more nudie ones. No transfer. No See? transfer? No transfer this time. Mwah. You look really pretty, baby. Thank you. So uh, how much stuff did you use and how much stuff are we returning? Right. And that is what the typical guy wants to know. Okay, so we have a pile over here. I did not use these two lipsticks. Three of the Infallible Shadows, more on the cool side, I didn't use. I didn't use the NYX Primer, the Infallible Retractable, 
Um, the Wet n Wild blotting powder actually was already totally used, and I didn't know if you did that or not. No. Yeah, so I didn't Somebody use that. sampled that? Somebody sampled. And then I didn't use the Infallible Pro Contour because I wanted to use the more affordable option, even though everything was very affordable. I still wanted to go a little extra affordable, and I know I like this one. I like most of this makeup, and a lot of it I will continue to use, but it's so funny with makeup because if you're missing one or two items that really, really work well for you, everything else kind of feels a little bit off. My lipstick. Sorry. It's okay. You did a nice job. And I'm really happy you made another video like this with me. So the next thing we need to do is get James to uh, join up with me and help me unbox things, right? I think that's like the next one. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Thumbs this video up if you wanna see that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks James, as always, for being here. I have to go to lunch now. Um, let's hope everybody loves my pink lipstick, all right? Yes. Yes. All right, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for hanging out. Mwah.